Hey everybody, it's Sugar Connor, and I know you've all just been dying to know what my next LP is going to be, because I wasn't going to tell you guys this time. Well, I'm about to narrow things down a little. Give it a second. It's a GameCube game! But what GameCube game could it be? Could it be Pokemon Coliseum? Could it be Pokemon XD? Could it be Paper Mario 2? Could it be Tales of Symphonia? Well, you're not gonna find out until the game starts, because I just love making you worried. <laughs> no, but seriously, let's get the show on the road. Made by Nintendo and Intelligent Systems! What could it be? I'm sure you already know, but it's... Him today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end, and in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale for the quest of the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here! And we open on Rogueport and a very lost looking Princess Peach. Tet Toadsworth. Uh, ever since Super Mario Sunshine, she's never done anything we gotten stuck with him. So stifling. So why I'd like to the chance to look around on my own and do what I want. Yeah, well we all know what happens when that happens, princess. Get kidnapped for like the 9,000th first time. Yeah, in a town with this flavor, I can imagine. Oh, Missy! Missy! Yeah, seriously, what do you think she's talking about? The Goomba or the Nomadi Mouse back there? Yes, you, Missy! Won't you buy something? I have a white assortment of knickknacks and doodads! Oh, she found something she liked! Well, that's a pretty box! What's inside it? <laughs> I can't believe it! It's said that this box holds a map where our legendary treasure sleeps, but the box has a magic lock on it. It will ultimately open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't budge if someone such as myself touches it. That's a bread flag right there! A bread flag? A red flag! I know the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there would be no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box into your hands and see what happens! Alright, what's the harm? She'll try to open it! What is inside? All right, here we go. One of the best games on the GameCube platform. One of my personal favorites, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, developed by Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. This is going to be our first Let's Play with our new GameCube memory card that I just got at Circuit City. We'll be right back. Okay, once more with feeling. And we got it, okay. Let's go ahead and start this up. This is with a new GameCube member card. Um, for the name, we're just gonna use my regular old name, which is Emil. Yeah. You guys are used to seeing it by now. 
And yes, this is just the name of the file. Mario's not actually going to be called this. All right, let's go, 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 go. Okay. Now, before Mother 3, Paper Mario is my personal favorite. I'm happy to do the sequel. Power Carry! I already love this game, even though I've already played it. <laughs> Mail call! Oh, God, Power Carry, you look awesome. Luigi! Luigi! He must appear first in this game so we can know how Luigi feels! Eh, whatever. Hey, bro! Check it out! A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you! <laughs> I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Alright. Ahem. Now, let's see here. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Hello there, Mario. I'm on a holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came to possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Brokeport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. Oh, great. Now we got to do this for you, just as always. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it along when... Uh, please bring it along... Please bring it with you when you come. Jeez, I can't read today. I'll meet you at Brokeport. That means you must come, Peach. Uh, okay, any of you guys who've been a fan of Mario since Super Mario Bros. 3 know that letters plus Peach equals trouble. Let's see here. A map. Ooh, we've got a much vaster world to explore than in Paper Mario 1. It is time for us to start. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, for like the fifth time we've seen the title, but whatever. Um, as a quick note, I just want to say, this is going to be a much simpler LP than Mother 3 was. I mean, it's going to have editing and stuff, though, but not on the level that Mother 3 did. Uh, like, there's going to be intros and artwork and everything, though, but instead of enemy bios, um, I'm going to be doing something different than enemy bios. You guys will see what it is, and if you play this game, you already know what it is. Anyway, time to start the prologue. Let's see here. Prologue! A rogue's welcome! Come! I don't know. I'm being weird. Alright. So this is... Sparta? Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The time you've been speaking of is coming to view. Look! That's Rogueport! Indeed it is Rogueport. Whatever happened to the blimp that looked like a cheap cheap that was above it before in the picture? Never mind. I don't think I'm going to get an answer. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Pre please prepare to disembark. Got it, my Japanese. I said please. So, yeah. What's up with you guys? I got a ton of college homework this weekend. I'm actually recording this a week in advance, meaning that I'm recording it the Friday before you guys are going to see this. <laughs> I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed. Just just a bit of rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sore tales about Rogueport on the way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, that's what you want to think. Then I won't stop. <laughs> but, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ah, this game's already starting off on a light note. This game is a lot funnier than the first Paper Mario. It is my personal favorite in the series, and I hope you like it. All right, as for controls, we have A to jump, of course. You start with the hammer in this one. Um, You don't have a spin dash, though. Instead, the Z button brings up your status and also brings up your shortcuts for the start menu. So you get your gear. Start with the mailbox SP, obvious. That is not blatant advertising at all. Journal, which is just, you know, where you keep stuff, you know. Menu's overall about the same. Um, a few things I might want to explain is the this thing is this rising star. It means that every ten levels you go up in rank. Um, and as you get higher in rank, the battle scene kind of changes a bit. I'll get into explaining that a bit later. What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I probably remember a princess. Yeah, whatever. What do we got here? Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now the, I'll be doing the... I'm doing the asking. So you be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right now! Never! I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew! I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sussy little lad like you made an untimely demise. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to a fortress. 
It's your command, Lord Crump. We're on it. No, no! Stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream! Really? Well, I think that we're gonna end off right here, alright, guys? I don't really want to end it this early, though, but it's because of the time limit, okay? So, yes, next time on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, we'll find out more. We'll try to save this damsel in distress. See you guys then.